Welcome to Good Mythical More. Motivational speech. We're going to give it a mo motivational speech to that guy at the gas station who grabbed a gas station deli sandwich and sighed. And what? And sighed. Oh, and sighed. And sighed. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. You know what? You made a good decision. Look around. You're in a gas station. Look in your hand. You got a sandwich. Yeah, and here's from a, a gas station. Here's the thing. You might Don't think. Sigh. You might think, ah, oh, look at my life eating this bland sandwich. But here's the thing: there's a pretty good chance that there's something that in that sandwich that is going to kill you. And uh, but it's not going to kill you. It's going to almost kill you. And you're going to fall in love with a doctor. I would also recommend getting some of that bottle of pill stuff at the counter that uh, makes you perform for longer. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, doctors, they always keep that by the counter. Doctors love that. Right. Well, you know, an, if you're a performer, it's an impulse. Decision. You're an actor. Uh, let's bring in our mythical team members. Boy, you guys, that was fun. You re ranked some stuff. Shark Tank. Shark Tank's a good show it's to be in. It's a great show. Like, it's, just to keep on in the background. And here's the thing I feel like I've watched a fair amount of Shark Tank, but the problem is. Let's move on back. I haven't that. seen. Let everybody in. I haven't seen any ideas like that. Like, almost every time I watch Shark Tank, I've been like, that's a pretty good idea. I wonder. That's a pretty good idea. I think that you guys move up as far as you can. Just like, let's, let's thigh touch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Not until we're married. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to put up here? We got to start figuring that. Good mythical more. I don't know a banner, like a dot matrix printed banner. Yeah, like a birthday banner. Just like the uh, post can add like thoughts we're having in our thought bubbles. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Uh, they yeah. hate it when we start. That's when we ideas for that. News ticker, just mm. well, what was it? <laughs> you don't want post to VH1 hate you. One started no, running. Right. <laughs> VH1 started running old episodes of something. Pop up video. And pop up video. Oh, you remember pop up video? Yeah. Yes. We need to run pop all things video. through pop up video. Run all things through pop-up videos. Actually, let's table that for a serious discussion later. <laughs> okay, so um, this is what we're doing. We are uh, we have cards here which have real reality shows, and then we have real mythical team members here who have mm. said that one of these is their favorite show. Favorite we're gonna reality match it. show. We're gonna match it together. You and I go think first? your question about Shark Tank, I think the answer, my theory is kind of like, at the first of American Idol, they would show a lot of like crappy auditions, but oh, then they you started. Think they phased them out. I bet you they phased out the really nasty, stupid ones. Mm. Mm. Our first famous reality show is Storage Wars. Uh. Mm. There it is. I'm going to read about it. Modern day pirates blindly bid on abandoned storage units that may contain junk or treasure. They're trying real hard with that one liner. What did that guy say who would like bid on stuff and be like, Yep. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if those are yeah. the official it's Ben's favorite. or the yeah, writers sure. wrote those. So either well, way, sure but here, here, here's the thing, though. <laughs> this, this is like was, a Netflix one line. This horribly. is one of the most successful <laughs> reality shows in history. I, I I watched it on vacation. Yeah, it's something. It's good to watch in a hotel room. Yeah. Like Storage Wars and a Family Guy rerun. It's on it four. <laughs> yeah. Like great hotel room live TV viewing. <laughs> right. Um, storage wars. Who would be most interested in storage? Storage. Yeah, it's <laughs> containers. Containers of mystery. Or apparently modern day pirates. Mm -hmm. Who likes? <gasps> That's generous. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just this. It, this this is, is tough. This is tough. My, my, I like American Pickers better than this. Mm -hmm. So who? Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. But that okay. requires more travel, right? Not to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, this is, this is tough, but I don't think it's Emily because she likes American Pickers better than Storage Wars, too. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's Christine or Jordan. Oh, fine. No, I, I feel like I'll, well, we'll see, we'll see. I feel like we're definitely going to know Stevie's when we hear it. Um, <laughs> let's give this to Jordan in his hotel room. Okay, yeah. All right, and now we've also, okay, we got... Moonshiners. I have seen this one on Discovery Channel. Is it good? Uh, yes. Moonshiners go to extremes to illegally produce and distribute white lightning. There's a king's ransom waiting for those bold enough to grab it, but the police are more determined than ever to catch them red-handed. 
the day of reckoning may be just around the bend. This is, there's a couple of guys in like, everybody's in the Appalachian Mountains and some of them are in like North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Right? And uh, Christine, right? I don't know. No, My, no. That, I, that makes me want to I don't up. think this is Christine. I think this is Emily or Stevie. Now, Stevie has a connection to the moonshine. The, the moonshine. <laughs> she loves moonshine. She talks about it all the time, like every other day. And also... That's what's in her coffee bag. <laughs> <laughs> time for my morning Ooh, coffee. It's so <laughs> gross. Yeah, I've, heard, like I've heard her talk about this show, and I've oh. heard her th- say things like, oh, yeah. one of those guys is like like pretty close to where my parents' uh, mountain house is. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you like yep. the idea oh. of being close oh, I've to seen, moonshine. I've seen that show. I've seen that show. Just take it. But, I don't understand how the cops don't catch them if they're on TV. Because yeah. the producers are like they're paying them off. They're squirrely. Okay, cool. Oh. It's a mob oh. thing. Yeah, I don't yeah. understand how that works. Yeah, like a, a mob TV thing. mob thing. Sopranos are involved. Is what Every I'm saying. episode ends when someone dies from an exploding bathtub. I know. I definitely picture him in overalls. Like <laughs> that sex appeal. Nothing I mean, but overalls. Overalls. And a hat. And mm-hmm. a hat. Yeah. All right, next we have Bar Rescue. Oh, okay. I'm holding this down here, and I don't think anybody's pointing anything at it. I've heard about this. Is that just me? Okay, yeah. (laughs) Bar Rescue. Nightlife expert John Taffer helps struggling bar owners overcome health hazards, mediocre staffing, and branding issues in order to become Mm. profitable establishments. So this is basically kitchen nightmares with another dude. (laughs) <laughs> it's probably not as... And a bar, not a kitchen. Not as entertaining as Gordon Ramsay. I've seen um, billboards of this show. W- what kind of person really likes bar rescue? Someone who's who, who thinks Some, they know how... They like to see things getting fixed. Yeah, somebody's got, got really a lot, lot of problems with bars. Um, <laughs> kitchen Nightmares, I was really into that show for a while because I liked seeing things getting fixed and people getting uh, critiqued and r- ridiculed. <laughs> um, hmm. But I never got into this one because this guy just didn't seem like he had the Ramsey. Yeah, yeah. Spirit. He doesn't have that Ramsey spark. Uh, I mean, but I think Emily, uh, Emily was a bartender. It, yeah, yeah. I don't know if she was or not. <laughs> but Let me flush your face. Emily has a drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she was or not, but she could have been. <laughs> I, 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 I'm actually... I'm trying my coffee every morning. Yeah. yeah. I know a lot of bartenders. <laughs> yeah, see, I feel like she she has opinions about bars. So you you were never a bartender? I was not. I was Why? Why? barely a waitress. Um, no. I've been fired from every um, restaurant job I've ever had. <laughs> Okay. Sorry. <laughs> because I spit, I spit in the spit food. In no, I worked at Ye Old Spaghetti Factory, I think. Or the, oh, yes, that's, that's, that's not a I bar? Dropped a, I dropped a whole hot uh, tray of food on a children's birthday party. Oh, well, good. Minestrone they, soup. They it was deserve very hot. it. <laughs> the kids well, are fine. what kind of kid's birthday party Wait, is that? Here's minis- your soup. Whoa. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the Ye Old Spaghetti Factory. Yeah, yeah I don't think it's, there's a Ye in there, but it's fun to say. It is yeah, fun yeah, yeah. to say. How quickly were you fired? Oh, and Immediately, immediately. Like you had to, they took you in the back, stripped you of your apron, and you had to walk out? I kept the apron. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kept the apron. All right. Whoa. <laughs> wow. We got spit oh. takes, we got I, bloopers. I wish I had a caught that. So we loopy today. Blooper okay. reels. Lindsay Lowen's Beach Club. Oh, there's no image. I know, we all know her. Actress, singer, and entrepreneur, <laughs> Lindsay Lowen, or Lohan is how we used to say it, and then we changed is expanding her business empire with the launch of Lohan Beach House in Mykonos, Greece. Lindsay is a no-nonsense boss, and she needs her team to come together to help bring her vision to life. Now, this sounds like something I would be into, because I love a train wreck. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? She is a boss of a beach house? How does that... What? Who cares? (gasps) Who cares how it works? she She owns the whole... She owns, like, multiple resorts. Not that I know. <laughs> the show would just be her throwing like wine at, on people. Just be like, ah! Okay. Because that's where, you know, that's you know what, that, that video that went right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. on Instagram where she's like dancing? The like, Lilo? She's like this. Like that's at one of her resorts. Mm. How many resorts does she own? Guys. I don't know, but we should just do a marathon. We should go to each one. We should just take a, <gasps> a month and go from Lohan to Lohan. Yeah. Just see how many strains of herpes you can get. <laughs> <laughs> 
We could we could have our own internet series. We could call it Low Hanging Fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan likes it. Oh my God. Me and Jordan <laughs> bought in the room. Bought in the room. Bought in the room. The Shark Tank bitches are not over. They're so good. Okay. Um, now, I are we going to give this to Christine? I'm going to give it to Christine, but I have, there's a part of me that feels like we should give Moonshiners. That's Stevie. You're right. I, that is Stevie. Okay. All I right. know she's talking about low hand, but that's not her. All right. I feel good about this. Yeah. So let's start with let's start with Stevie because we know we're right. Uh, I can't play this game. <laughs> <laughs> this is so. This show is so captivating to me because because yes. I really need the subtitles to understand what's going on because <laughs> their accents are never determined. And you know, yeah. And being from North Carolina, like, you still can't understand. I wow. know. And it's just I don't know. There's something mesmerizing about it, and also they do like really ridiculous things. Like they're like. I'm, I have like one hundred thousand dollars worth of moonshine. I put under this abandoned car, and then I accidentally <laughs> lit the whole thing on fire, and it exploded. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's an, it's entertaining. That's, That's the drama I'm here for. I do want to now. First of all, we we know that all these shows are either completely scripted or. Mostly what? scripted, right? Yeah. So that's got to be how they deal with the cop problem, right? It's just like you're yeah. not really doing it, but this is a reenactment of what you would have done. But mm. that's how they get away with the cop thing, right? Isn't that probably what's I happening? Actually, I don't <coughs> right, know. right, 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 right. Probably just a good legal team. reality TV people. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. We're asking our reality TV people. <laughs> okay, who are we going with next? Um, what do you think, Sharon Osbourne? <laughs> Don't spoil the surprise for later. <laughs> wow! All right, sure jo Jordan, are we, are we right? Uh, no, you're Ooh. not right. Should I say which one was actually yes. mine? Uh, Bar Rescue. Bar Rescue, uh, uh, Bar wow. Rescue is mine. I love this show. I, I'm not a huge reality TV fan, but this is definitely my keep it on in the background when I'm messing around on a Sunday morning show. Have you watched uh, Kitchen Nightmares? No, I haven't. Well, it's better. This <laughs> here's okay. Here's what's great about this show. It is about a mean dad who owns one sport coat who goes and <laughs> yells at people who have undercooked chicken wings, and then he makes the bar better, and you get to see lots of close-ups of appetizers. Oh, <laughs> I love that close -ups. You should have led with the yeah. appetizers. There's a lot of just, yeah. like, real close shots of, like, onion rings coming out of a deep fryer. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> show a lot. <laughs> okay, Christine. No. Ooh. Um, I, I want to watch this, but I haven't yet. But mine is Storage War. Hey, don't be ashamed. Why do you be like it? Because you can just like sit down and watch five seasons and not know that time has passed. And also, I like love going to like garage sales and stuff. And so uh. there's always like the idea of like finding a piece of trash that's worth a thousand dollars. Okay. Is really appealing. Yep. And I've been to one of these, and they are actually really sad because. Yeah. Oh. You've been to a storage auction? Yes, because my friend had to buy his unit back, but they're not allowed to directly buy it. They have to have someone buy it from them. And so I had to go, and it was like, he opened up, and it was like a broken computer and like a chair. And I'm like, you bought it from him? Yeah, well, for him, because he couldn't bid on it. You were like, yep, yep I want that yep. fucking computer. <laughs> he, he wanted that stuff? There was well, something special in there? Well, he left his, he lost his storage unit. Oh, he, like, man. stopped forgetting to pay for it. This so, sounds it, really sad. I mean, yeah, that's what a how, bummer. <laughs> that's how all the storage units are. Just people who, like, couldn't pay for their storage You mean to tell me storage units don't have automated pay? <laughs> no, apparently not. Well, that's no, a shame. Because they wouldn't have a TV show if they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But typically, they don't bring in the person who's lost the storage unit yeah. to cry <laughs> no, in a shot. they don't bring them oh, in. That would be a good stuff. show. Yeah. My grandmother's seen, ashes. <laughs> have you seen American Pickers? No, I haven't. Okay, it's better. Okay. All right, so Lindsay Lohan it is, right? I've only seen one episode of this, but I'm obsessed with it because it just came out. It is killer. <laughs> like it's so, she owns a nightclub um, in Greece as well. I don't think it's in Mykonos. I think it's in, I, I, I don't forget know. where it is. I was trying to throw them but off. But she's got this fabulous guy know. who's her friend. and he's, he's the hard ass. And they like own this, they're running this beach house thing together. It is so luxurious. There's like cabana beds all on this white, perfect beach and the Blue water, and they have all. They've recruited all of these high-end cabana like servers, yeah. 
<laughs> and they are trash. They are all trash. They're gorgeous and trashy. And, <laughs> and everyone's going to make out with each other, and it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> I'm so excited. All and right, also, calm down. <laughs> also, Lindsay's fun. She's fun and trashy oh, yeah. as well. Apparently, she does a great dance. Yeah. How does yeah, your yeah, dance yeah. go? Oh. oh. Yeah. You get to hear her it's, accent changing. Did you, did you watch <laughs> Temptation oh, yeah. Island? Huh? Were you into Temptation Island? You go that trashy? No, I don't like I don't like things where people have to like either fall in love or ruin their relationships. I don't. I'm not a huge. You fan don't want of them to have to. You just want them to do it accidentally. I want yeah. them to do it organically and <laughs> yeah. just to be, right. and be young understand. and I would to not matter. recommend moonshiners. Like, <laughs> yeah, if they're young people and they make out and stuff, it's like they're not married or anything. They're all just like living a young, happy fun, rich life on an island with no consequences. You're gonna be a great mom. So many mythical badges, so little time. Collect them all at mythical.store.